I want to thank all of you at the Walmart Foundation for your partnership with us over the last three years in Ohio. I hope as you watch this video that you will see the face of what has been able to be accomplished through this partnership that's assisting men and women to come home, re-enter the job force, and contribute to the communities around them. Prison Fellowship was invited into Ohio by Governor Kasich in 2011 to help prepare inmates for re-entry back into the communities of Ohio. In order for us to be successful, Prison Fellowship would need the support of the Ohio Department of Rehabilitations and Corrections. One of the things I think is central to understand is that Ohio uh, has really uh, been a leader in shifting the paradigm of corrections away from uh, sort of time and crime and to a, um, an environment that fosters hope. And uh, it's evident in our mission uh, to reduce recidivism among those we touch. And we believe that uh, this primary objective of our agency uh, is in direct alignment with what Prison Fellowship is all about. We recruit and train outstanding volunteers who have a passion for making a difference in the lives of those re-entering into our communities. One of the aspects of uh, the Prison Fellowship uh, program that uh, I truly was uh, impressed by was the emphasis on preparing the men for a life outside of the prison. This is kind of a, uh, um, a program at the grassroots that really um, you know, takes men where they're at and tries to uh, maneuver them into a place where they can function in society without resorting to crime again. Over 200 men and women have participated in the reentry programs provided by the grant supported by the Walmart Foundation. Let's meet one of them. Hello, my name is Terrell Brown. Today, I'm a husband and a father. I have a blended family. I have a total of seven children and five grandchildren. I'm a licensed barber here at Ooz and Oz Hair Design. Uh, God has also blessed me with a ministry called Chosen Generation. With my past behavior, I not only affected my life, but I also, through a string of uh, not so good things in my children's lives and anyone that was connected to me. So during this incarceration, uh, I signed up for a program called Prison Fellowship, where I met my mentor, Dr. Harrison, uh, a guy named Brett Core, Dave Sandritter, and I, some great guys who after the curriculum, they continued on in my life to, uh, to just to, to mentor me, you know, give me suggestions on what and what not in life because I just got to a point to where I finally realized that my way was just not the way. Uh, throughout my incarceration, I went to college at Sinclair College. I graduated from Sinclair College with a social service assistant certificate as well as chemical dependency a counselor assistant certificate. And um, today I'm, I'm here to serve. Throughout the program, I've learned that men are here not only to, to serve our families, but to serve our communities as well. Byron, who owns the barbershop, had known Terrell before he went to prison. TJ came to me um, some years ago, and I can't give you the exact year. He worked with me and he still was battling with a drug addiction. Um, he kept that from me, but his drug addiction sent him back to prison. I prepared my staff and I prepared his heart for the opportunity when he came or when he got out of prison that he could come back here and we could try at our business again. And since then he's been Nothing short of a miracle. This is the model. To transform men and women in prisons to become responsible and accountable citizens and encourage employers and communities to be prepared to support them when they return. Your contributions there at Walmart offer hope to, to people who need our assistance and quite frankly, our help. Thank you, Walmart, for funding the Prison Fellowship Program. Uh, because of you and because of the program, my life has changed tremendously.